this is Sims and we're here. Surprise! We're doing mixed reviews because it's been a while since we've done these and we haven't had enough trauma lately. Um, so <laughs> the last time we did mixed reviews, we played uh, Dogenzaka Labs um, Office Lovers, i.e. Sexual Harassment at Work the Game. Um, and now we're going to play My Butler, which is i.e. Sexual Harassment at Home the Game. Um, so I was thinking, you know, we haven't done, like, like I said, we haven't done mixed reviews in a while. I do have one that's on my switch that I was going to do, but I was like, sometimes you just want to grab the computer and it's just easier. And I have so many games on steam. So I was like, let me do one on steam. It's a little bit easier to record stuff on steam. And then maybe like one that's on one of my game consoles, than one on each different game console. Uh, I do want to get to the point where maybe we have a third game going. Uh, I don't know. It depends on how far in advance I can do this one because these are a slog. Uh, when we played Office Lovers, it was like a goddamn nightmare getting through that because it was cringy. It was bad. It was awful. That's what we're here for. If you want a good Atome game where we're going to take it seriously, this is not that this is literally, we are going into this and I am going to just complain the entire time about how awful the MC is because you know she's going to be a train wreck. How douchey the guys are, but I'm probably going to like it anyway. Um, so, again, if you're new to Mixed Reviews and you didn't watch Office Lovers, I mean, you don't have to, uh, but Mixed Reviews is basically the series where I go through games that are on Steam or anywhere else that basically have not been reviewed in a positive light. So usually that means that either the reviews are mixed. Uh -huh. Have you ever been on Steam? You know what I'm talking about. Hey, what are the reviews? Very positive, positive, mixed. That's what these are. Uh, because there's so many of them and there's ones that you're like, I mean, I play this, but everybody says it's god awful. And there was a point where I was browsing them and I think it was Office Lovers, honestly, where I was just, somebody's review literally was like sexual harassment, the game. And I was like, that kind of makes it funny, and I kind of want to play this now. So <laughs> that's why we played it. I bought all of the Dogenza Dogenzaka Labs freaking games in a bundle, like one of the summer sa or winter sales that Steam had like last year or something. Um, and going through Office Lovers was it? Oh, God. It was painful. It was god awful and painful. That's what this is going to be. That's what we're here for. We are here for the worst. It's going to be awkward. There's going to be scenes that I don't want to read. Because as much as I'm that person that sits there and is like, yeah, pin me against the wall, baby. When they do, I'm like, I don't want to read this. Oh, God, I can't believe I... Uh, I'm just... I'm really good at the talk. But don't show... Don't. Don't make me read that. But that's what we're here for. Um, so I'm going to go... I'm sorry, I'm just going to pop it. So if you see my mouse floating around here, it's because I'm in Steam right now. And you're seeing the game, not Steam. But anyway, about this game. So and this is the story... Uh, the story of this game is the same as My Butler from the smartphone version. Okay. Uh, what is My Butler? This is a game where you can enjoy falling in love with your personal butler. Each butler is a celebrity. Sometimes they'll approach you softly, and sometimes forcefully. Probably always forcefully, because I guarantee you they're all going to be goddamn fucking tools. Uh, also, so this is the fun thing, because you're like, oh, a butler game! But they're celebrities. So not a real butler game. So the disappointment's already strong. This is not how you do a butler game, all right? Seriously, we want the Sebastians, we want the Pendletons, we want that in these games, uh, like a legit butler. And I think that's what a lot of people's complaints with this are, is like, butlers are supposed to be gentlemen and kind, and these guys are douchebags, and you're like, that's what I came for, though. Anyway, uh, the story. When your aunt asked you to work part-time for her talent agency, you didn't expect to be asked to live in her mansion for three months. Living together with you as butlers are an actor, an idol, or a model. So there's only three romancy boys. All super famous, but each one comes with his own problems. I.e., they're assholes. The guys. Yonakura Shohei. Uh, yeah, Shohei. A popular actor. He's arrogant and likes to tease people. Awesome. What's the real intention behind his sweet whispers and doting behavior? Probably a little rape, but okay. Kiro Yosuke. A famous model who works overseas. He knows how to treat a lady, but troubles you every once in a while with his sadistic outburst. Um, he's the glasses character, so I don't give a shit how goddamn douchey he's going to be. That's my boy. Because you know I love the glasses characters. If you watched Office Lovers, I can't even remember his name. He was the biggest fucking douchebag. But he had glasses and he was hot. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I hate you, but I love you anyway. <laughs> 
Like, this is the glasses character. You have glasses, you're hot, you can... Uh, whatever. It's the Van Helsing effect, right? You're such a jerk! But see, Van Helsing was re had redeeming qualities, right? But he was the asshole. He started out the asshole. These guys are not going to have any redeeming qualities, probably. But we're still going to enjoy it, because this is what we came for. This kind of... We came for the garbage. That's what you're here for. Anyway. Kamasaki Makoto. An idol that everyone's talking about. Even though he's blunt and sarcastic, he tries his best to serve you. It seems like he's been interested in you from the beginning. They, they make him sound like he's going to be the nice one. He's going to be the most psychotic one. The ones that always seem nice are the, like, fucking creepy rapiest ones, right? Anyway. You should play this game if you want to fall in love with a handsome guy. I, okay, fair enough. You like romance novels, manga, or TV shows. Uh, oh, oh, well, you like romance games. We do. You like idols and celebrities. I love my idol boy anime shows. I really do. You like butlers. I do, but this is not that. Because again, Sebastian may be a demon, but I think he knows how to butler. And Pendleton may be a sassy little motherfucker, but we love him for that. If you didn't watch my playthrough of London Detective Mysteria or played that yourself, you should. You absolutely should. First of all, I recommend you play it, and then I recommend you watch my playthrough, uh, because we love Pendleton. There you go. Team Pendleton. Woo! Anyway, I'm not going to read the reviews, but they're great. Anyway, so we are going to go prologue. I already put the name settings in because you kind of had to when you loaded the game and I needed to get in here and do the settings because these games are notorious for having background music that is like louder than I am, if you can imagine that. And so I had to go in and mess with my settings. So uh, anyway, so we'll go through the prologue. Prologue. See? Look at him. He's the glasses asshole. But I dig him already. I love this son of a bitch. Butlers are something you only ever see in movies or TV shows. A normal average girl like me has nothing to do with them. Or so I thought. Uh, I don't know what voices to give them right now. We'll have to get in a little bit. So anyway, from now on, I'm going to do things the way I want to. You're okay with that, right? Famous actor and arrogant butler. <laughs> he, he's got to have almost the Van Helsing kind of voice because he's got the glasses. And they always have that voice. I don't know why. When you make cute faces like that, it just makes me want to tease you more and more. <laughs> They're always like this. The glasses characters are always. What is this? Oh, God. Dogen Zaka Labs has a thing against glasses characters because this is exactly how What's-His-Face was in Office Lovers right now. Top model and sadistic butler. I find it funny that he's the model, but... You're really a nuisance, you know that? Pop star and sharp tongue butler. I love how their qualities are like, he's an actor, he's a model, he's a pop star, and then the assholishness of the butler. That day, I found my fated partner. God. It, was late it was a late September day when autumn had just begun to set in. On the way back from one of my college classes, two men suddenly appeared in front of me. Before I could ask their names, they took me with them. Oh, okay, so kidnapping right off the bat. Soon, I found myself at my aunt, my aunt's mansion. <laughs> yes? I called her Spacey. Her name was Jane Smith. Really good name right there. Quality. I feel like they put a lot of effort into that. Um, So I was going to leave me Spacey Smith, but then I was like, yeah, fuck it, we're going to just change that, and we're Spacey Sims now. So this is really even more awkward. would be even more awkward if it was my actual name. I was not born with the name Spacey Sims, obviously, but anyway. Ahem. <clears throat> Is he one of our boys? Because he doesn't look like one of the ones from the beginning. Anyway. Well then, Miss Spacey Sims, you didn't hear anything from Madam Igo. I was informed that she had asked you to take on some part-time work. Auntie Igo is a beautiful go-getter who manages a famous, famous talent agency. She's a hard worker and is always kind to me. She's someone I look look up to, but... She called me out of the blue a few days prior. Spacey, do you want to work for me? What do you mean? You don't have any more required courses to take in your fourth year of college, right? Yeah, I finished all my units. Now all I have to do is write my graduation the thesis. <laughs> in that case, there's something I want you to help me with. What's that? She told me it was easy and came with free meals, so I applied without a second thought, but... This is the job she was talking about? Teaching men how to man. That's our job, by the way. 
um, I believe in a review or maybe it was, um, had to have been review. I did pull open a guide. So there is a guide. We're just going to go through it the first time and see what the fuck happens. Uh, I don't think we're going to try. We'll do the guide after because we like to do the run through first. Um, but I think it, it was either in that or in a review when someone literally is like, they don't know how to treat women. So your job is, so we're teaching men how to man. Well, we're teaching assholes how to not be assholes. I don't think we're going to do really well at this. I'm just going to guess they're going to be assholes and we're a doormat. I'm pretty sure people have pointed out she's a doormat. And let's be real. We're always a fucking doormat in these games. Anyway. I don't know which one's which and whatever. So, yes, that's why I've come to get you. They smiled. It was like I could hear their faces move as they both smiled softly and nodded at me. Again, though, two random dudes. Okay, I get it. I mean, he's at least dressed properly. He doesn't give a fuck. Um, but two dudes, I don't care if they're hot, show up and they're like, hey, come with us. Okay. Th at least tell me they offered you fucking candy. I mean, at least if they offer you candy before you get in the van, cool. Because strangers have the best candy, let's be real. But again, I just question that you went with them without like the promise of candy. Uh, okay, but before that... Where's Auntie Aiko? And who are you? Thank God we're in her house, but oh my God. Whoa there. Oh, pardon me, Miss Spacey. A tall man with short hair joked with me and laughed as he shrugged his shoulders. He's one of the, uh, yeah, okay, so anyway. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kirishima, uh, Hokuto? Kirishima Hokuto. He is definitely not one of the boys, though. He works in... I work in this mansion as a butler. This is a pretty fucking lax mansion with a dress code. I mean, I'm just saying. If you got butlers and it's not like, just wear whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. Oh, no, no, no. You must put on a proper face when you're greeting my guests. You're just going to let him walk around dressed like that? Damn. Auntie Aiko looks like she might... No, it's easy access for her. Auntie Aiko is having sex with her butlers, is all I'm saying. Ah. <sighs> At least he's got buttoned up and shit. So anyway, I'm, uh, Kagurazaki Masaki. Kagurazaki Masaki. Fuck, that's a tongue twister. Like Kirishima, I work here as a butler, too. B butlers I knew Auntie Aiko was wealthy, but I never thought she had butlers. Have you never fucking been to your aunt's house? What fucking planet do you live on? The lady of the house isn't present. She's currently overseas on a business trip. Uh, but she did put us in charge of taking care of you. They're not important, so they don't need voices. Ho hold on just a second. I haven't heard any heard a thing about the job yet. What am I supposed to do? You're to reside in this mansion for the next three months, Miss Spacey. Th three months? Of course, you can go out as you please and are free to walk around. You can do as you like. Th that's it? Fuck yeah, everybody needs an Auntie Aiko. How is that a job? Shut up. Yes, this is all we ask of you. Now then, allow me to introduce the butlers who'll be taking care of you starting today. Wh what? The they're going to take care of me? Okay, though, honestly, I take that back about needing an Auntie Aiko. Uh, she's going to let me stay here for three months and you just want me to stay here and boys are going to take care of me? Okay. Oh, girl. They forgot the most important stipulation. Oh, yeah. Hi. Cheats them not to be assholes. Oh, you're going to have to suffer verbal and probably physical abuse from these dickholes. That's a really important stipulation of the fucking job. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'd still say no. I'm not saying I'd say no. I'd still probably do this. But I'm just saying I want to know what it is. <laughs> a door opened right in front of my wide open eyes. Three men appeared. He's, he's trying to look like he's nice, but I don't know about... It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Spacey. My name is Yonokura Shohei. It felt like I was melting as I stared at his sweet smile and his blazing scarlet hair. It's not really blazing, but okay. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Smooch? Huh? D Did he just kiss my hand? <laughs> I love you. Greetings. I'm Kira Yosuke. He was wearing black rim glasses and had a calm, intelligent air about him. I like how you meet them and they seem like nice and you're like, this doesn't seem like it's going to go bad. I hope you enjoy the next three months. I'm looking forward to it. The butler named Kira suddenly took my hand in his. 
Oh, he grabbed my hand so casually. I don't know. I don't know. We gotta. We're gonna have to adjust the voices. I don't know. <laughs> Should we give one of them one of the terrible accents? No. Anyway, <laughs> the name's Kamasaki Makoto. Nice to meet you. He had gorgeous, charming, jet black hair, and seemed like the silent type. I've never heard anyone describe someone's hair as charming. He's really cold, but he's Makoto, my friend from childhood, isn't he? Did he forget about me? Wait, these guys? Oh, these three guys are... This one is that popular actor for who got famous after starring in that high school TV show. Uh, this one works overseas as a model, and this one is that idol who shows up in all the commercials and talk shows. All three of them are top-class celebrities in Auntie Aiko's talent agency, right? W why are you guys working as butlers? All right, I'm going to give her a point right now. She's going to lose a lot of them. But I'm giving her a fucking point right now. I will forgive you for getting going with strangers without getting a promise of candy. Because you are asking the hard-hitting important questions right now. Why are you working as butlers? Okay, we're going to get some convoluted answer, but... Bullshit! All I'm saying. The lady in the house has left you a voicemail regarding that matter. Oh, a voicemail from Auntie Aiko? How do they know I have a voicemail? I picked up the receiver. She did it on her own phone. Sorry for the urgent request, Spacey. Those three men work for me at my talent agency, but... None of them know how to treat a lady. They're either too rough or too inexperienced. They don't know how to cherish their female fans. Huh? The, they don't seem that way to me. They're good at acting. The three of them are taking a break from their jobs as celebrities, and in order for them to learn how to respect a lady, they'll spend the next three months as butlers. Oh, now that she mentions it, I did see something about that on TV. The fuck? I can't believe it. This is the reason they've taken a break at the peak of their careers? After the three months are up, I'll see how satisfied you are with their work. <laughs> She's too innocent for this job. You want to see how satisfied? I'll tell you. <laughs> see? I say these things, and then when that shit starts happening, I'm going to be like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. If you approve, they'll start working as celebrities again. If you disapprove, they'll have to continue their training. I'm judging them? The three of them? It sounds like we have all the power, and yet they're going to have all the power over us. That's the end of her message. Oh, wait, that's the original, the real butler, right? I don't remember. Anyway, they aren't real butlers, of course. I'm sure they're not perfect, but we'll do our best to support them. You have nothing to worry about, Miss Spacey. Please just enjoy your time while you live here. I'm not giving... I'm not going to find voices for the other butler guys. Because I don't have a lot of voices. Um, I'm, so, I'm running out. So, uh, you know. Th this is my job? All I need to do is live here in luxury for three months as these butlers look after me? Nonetheless, I'm sure it'll be tough for you to judge all three of them at once. So, and please choose the one that piques your interest. Huh? I only need to choose one of them. Yes, by not being chosen, it shows that the other two weren't appealing enough. Madame Iko has told us that they're to support you as support the butler you've chosen. As expected of Auntie Iko, she's so strict. This might be sudden, but please choose the butler you wish to take care of you, Miss Spacey. What? Right now? How am I supposed to decide? I know, right? Uh, um... Uh, Yonakura seems nice. But he's, uh, but he's sexy like a wild beast. He smells like trouble. Kira is easy to talk to, but he's a bit too composed and unemotional. That's what we like. I don't want to do him for... I love him the most. Like, he's my favorite already. Just because I like the glasses characters. But I don't want to do him first. So. Uh, Kamasaki is silent, unsociable, and blunt. But he... But he is my childhood friend. This butler is going to take care of me for the next three months. What am I going to do? Girl. Okay. Uh, a self-centered butler. He's arrogant and a famous actor he also likes to tease. A sharp-tongued butler. He's venomous and a prominent idol. He's calm on the outside but has a fiery passion within. 
Uh, a sadistic butler. He's ruthless and a first-rate model. He's the type that torments the people he's fond of. Because <laughs> the logic. Oh, he loves me because he's a douche. That's going to come up. Um. Oh, whoops. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Um, he's conceited, mis mischievous, and sarcastic. Teasing people is his pastime, but everyone adores him. What's the real intention behind his sweet whispers and doting behavior? Yosuke is a famous model who works overseas. He looks hard to approach, but is friendly and easy to talk to. Wait, he's friendly and easy to talk to, but he's an asshole. How? Okay. He knows how to treat a lady, but troubles you every once in a while with his sadistic outbursts. Makoto is a new idol that's been making headlines. Even though he's blunt and sarcastic, he tries his best to serve you. Uh, he has a one-track mind and has a reckless side as well. It seems like he's been interested in you from the beginning. Should we go our uh, friend route? The childhood friend? Like, first off? I feel like we should go childhood friend first off. Um, I want to save our tormenty asshole for the end. I feel like we need to do that. I don't know if there's like a recommended... Or maybe we should just go in order. We do, like, we pick him because he's the first one, and then... All right, you know what? <sighs> I don't know. I hate... I knew they were going to do this, but it's kind of like... Um... Hmm. I'm... Mm, I don't know. It's so hard. All right, you know what? We're just going to go in order. So whether we do second time, whether we do boop, 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 this order, or we do this order, I don't know. But we'll start with uh, Shohei. Okay. We'll do him. He's the first one. Okay. Chapter one. A perfect butler. Kira looked kind, and there was Kam uh, Kamasaki as well. I could have chosen either of them, but... I was taken in by the third man's dangerous-looking eyes and perfect butler aura. Then, I'd like to ask you... Yunakura. It was his name I called. Miss Spacey. Ahem, <clears throat> that's Kira's voice, sorry. I'm honored to be chosen by you. I'll do my best to serve you and f fulfill your expectations. Uh, y Yunakura seems kind of... His face looks kind, but his eyes are sharp. He kind of looks like a carnivorous beast watching his prey. It, is it all right that I chose him? Probably not. As I thought those things... Miss Spacey. The dangerous feeling I'd felt from Unicora's eyes had suddenly disappeared. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you making a face like that? You don't need to worry. I'm not going to eat you. Please relax. As your personal butler, I'll always make sure to satisfy you. Okay, well, we're off to a dangerous start. Oh, and now his smile is so kind and gentle. It's like those piercing eyes he had weren't real. Not to mention, he said he'll always satisfy me. Girl, get your brain out of your panties. He said it with a lot of confidence, but I'm looking forward to it. How are you going to satisfy me? Um... I... <laughs> I okay. I feel like how are you gonna satisfy me? So not the right thing to say, because that is just gonna like lead to some bad things. But I want to say it, so I'm gonna say it. I don't know if it's right because I don't have a fucking guide. Um, I don't know if we should use a guide, or if we just see what fucking happens. We're just gonna see what fucking happens. Uh, how are you gonna? <laughs> Spacey, like goading the assholes over here. How are you going to satisfy me? Huh? Apparently, my reply had surprised Yonokura because his eyes widened a bit. <laughs> Let me think. He suddenly put his lips close to my ear. Bird, stop! I'll satisfy your body and your heart. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, God. Oh, we're going to have to... Oh, these are always smutty, but... Bird! Hey! Stop! You are not stuck in your cage, and you do not scream at the birdies outside. I don't like that noise, and you know it. You chirp nice. 
rat. Ah, uh, Unicorus, a uh, slightly hoarse yet sweet whisper poured it to my ear. I'll do anything you wish. I'll do my duty until you're completely satisfied. Okay. <laughs> well, why is he saying those things in such a sweet voice? Not to mention, why is my heart pounding just from hearing him say those things? The end! We don't need to go any further. She's already going to whip her panties off. Jesus. Well then, Miss Spacey, your personal butler will be Unicura. Is that all right with you? Y yeah, that's fine. I've made a terrible decision. I've made a horrible decision. In Job voice. Huh. Uh, Kamasaki? Why is he looking at me like that? Tch. How unfortunate. Uh, did, did he just click his tongue? Ugh. I can't believe I lost to you, of all people. Shut up. Stop complaining and just accept that you've lost. Well, just stand there quietly and watch me work my magic. Unicora, we'll do our best to support you, but... Miss Basie is an important guest left in our care by Madame Aiko. Be sure not to do anything reckless. Of course. You don't need to needlessly worry, nor do you need to give me useless directions. Unicora smiled with complete confidence. He, he's already kind of a douche. Or I'm just reading him that way, I don't know. Unicora had been like that in the beginning, but... In any case, it feels like he has lots of self-esteem. Where's all of it coming from? Isn't he the actor? Yeah, girls throw themselves at him and he can treat them like shit. That's, yeah. Yonakura, and this may be abrupt, but could you take Miss Spacey to her room? It would be my pleasure. <clears throat> I'm not, I can't, I can't with the voices. Like, I just, they're so, like, they're so almost bland that I don't have voices for them. Like, Kira, I can easily give him the kind of Van Helsing kind of treatment because he's the snotty glasses character. So that's easy. But like these other two, it's like, I just don't have voices for the, I mean, maybe we'll work into it, but I just feel like I'm not getting enough aside from douchebag. But like that doesn't, that's not a voice type that I can do. <laughs> anyway, Miss Pacey, please come this way. Huh? The unicorn was gritting as he put his hand around my waist. He then hugged me as if it was the natural thing to do. Hey, you're already doing stuff like that? Kira's well-groomed eyebrows frowned as he saw that. For some reason, Kamasaki was trembling as his shoulders shook. Oh, don't cry. Oh, yeah, also, we picked the douchebag with the open shirt and the pop collar. I didn't even, but okay. Yeah. Miss Spacey. Unicorda pretended not to notice either of them. Please come this way. I'll take you to your room, Miss Spacey. Oh, the scent. A bewitching fragrance was gently drifting from Unicorda's direction. It's sweet, but it also feels dangerous, like a ferocious beast. It's just... There's so many warning signs right now. Is this how Unicorda smells? This is your room, Miss Spacey. In the end, his hand was around my waist the whole time he guided me. Uh, um, Unicora, we're at my room now, so could you let go of me? Oh, we are? How unfortunate. I wanted to revel in your warmth for a little longer. What? Well then, please follow me, Miss Spacey. As he spoke, Unicora sat me down in a big chair. Pardon me, Miss Spacey. <clears throat> huh? He kneeled down next to my feet and suddenly lifted one of them up. Oh, he took off my shoe. <laughs> you have such pretty feet, Miss Spacey. What? I, I wish you wouldn't stare so deeply at my feet. Please wait like this for a moment. I'll bring a foot bath right away. A foot bath? This is so awkward. And it's not because it's creepy sexy, but it's just like... Like... It feels awkward. Like, you're like, oh, I'm hanging out in your brothers. Oh, let me flip that. And you're like, this is just really weird. I can... Weird. <clears throat> yes, you made a long journey today. I had prepared it to cure your fatigue. Oh, well, that actually sounds nice. Unicorda finally came back with a steaming foot bath and an aromatherapy set. Oh, what a nice smell. I concur. I thought it'd relax you, so I tried making an aromatherapy bath. Do you like the smell of lavender? 
Y yeah, I do. I see. Happy to hear that. Unicora smiled in satisfaction. This is the most awkward conversation ever. Are you the only one like... Do you like this? Yeah. Oh, good. Glad to hear that. Miss Spacey. Miss Spacey. Please stop calling me Miss Spacey. She's God. <laughs> like, I know he's a butler, but it's still freaking me out a little bit. When he acts like this, I can only see him as a perfectly capable butler, but... Splash! Ah, it feels really nice. The water is at just the right temperature, and the lavender smells heavenly. My feet are slowly warming up. This is so relaxing. Miss Spacey, how's the water temperature? Oh, it's just right. It feels really nice. I see. Then, shall I give you a foot massage? Huh? A m massage Unicorn knelt down on one knee. His fingers caressed my feet directly. I mean, I'm not complaining because a foot massage would feel really nice right now, but... <laughs> I jumped in shock, and Yonakura looked at me with a strange look on his face. It's just a massage. I I understand that, but... Wow. 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 Your foot is really white, soft, and pretty. From my calf to my ankle, even my heel and the tips of my toes, Unicorn's fingers gently slid down my leg and foot. He finally entangled his fingers in the gaps between my toes and caressed them. It, it kind of tickles. A shivering sensation crawled up inside of me. Dear God, she's getting turned on already. I mean, a foot massage would feel nice, but like, good Lord. Is something wrong, Miss Spacey? If you don't like the amount of force I'm using, please tell me. Uh, okay, I can't believe myself. Unicorn is giving me a foot massage, but it, it's strangely embarrassing and I can't take it. When I unconsciously averted my eyes... Smooch. Huh? J just now... It was just for a second, but I'm sure... Did he just kiss her foot? Holy fucking awkward. <laughs> Shit, this is so cringy and awkward, and we're only 30 minutes in! We're literally like 5 minutes into his route! Holy shit. It felt like Yonakura kissed my foot. Uh, um... Yonakura... Did you... Did I do... What, Miss Spacey? Smooch. I'm not making kissy noises, but anyway. <laughs> he... He did it again! This time was on purpose. Unicorn had kissed my ankle. He'd been looking at me the entire time. <laughs> Let him do what he wants! <laughs> Stop him! Let him do what he wants. I feel like, okay. Let let's just be fucking real here for a second. Hashtag time out. Um, let him do what he wants. That is not ever the fucking right answer. No, it's not. Oh my god. No. Holy shit. But at the same time, I kind of just want to see what happens when we see the most absurd shit. Because here's the thing, in real life you'd be like, "Um, could you not?" That's a little fucking weird. And I get that as a doormat. She'd be like, oh, I'm just going to let him do what he wants because I'm a doormat. I just want to let him do what he wants because that is, like, not what I would, like... I, j I don't really know if the game wants us to be forceful with him and be like, no, fuck you! Or just be his plaything. I don't know. You never know. You know what I mean? But I just want to go for the biggest asshole answers, like, you're going to satisfy me? <laughs> Holy shit. Shit you'd never say for a hundred, Alex. Um, I'm gonna let him do what he wants because I just want to see what the fuck happens. I I just want to see what happens. It is that part of the massage? You're not stopping me, Miss Spacey. Huh? Does this mean you want me to continue? I mean a little bit because I just can't believe that this game is going there already, but this cracks me the fuck up. Okay, all right, all right. It's gonna get worse, but at the same time, I know this is like mixed reviews, and a lot of people hated this. We came in for the smut and the garbage, and this is not disappointed in the smut department. It's not written the best. It's not like this beautiful prose and shit like that. Um, and sometimes you're like, we, what the, f what kind of conversation are we having here? But it's not terrible yet. 
And this is enjoyable so far for the fact that it is kind of cringy. Like, um, the fuck is he doing? I... I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying myself so far. First 30 minutes. Like, sometimes, like, I don't remember Office Lovers if right in we were, were like, oh my god, what the fuck? Or we were like, um... Okay, well, so far, so far, we're okay. We're okay. I know it's going to get worse. I know it's going to get worse. But I feel like because we came into this with the right frame of mind, like, this is going to be bad. <laughs> this is like a train wreck. I signed up for this. Um, if that's what makes it better or what, but holy shit, this is amusing as shit. It's terrible, but amusing. I don't know. Anyway, he lifted my foot up once more and brought his lips close to my ankle. <laughs> he just laughs at us. Please sit still, Miss Spacey. If you keep moving like that, I can't massage you. Unicorn's fingers slowly caress my foot one more time. It tickles. And it kind of feels strange. <laughs> I can't I can't read his chuckling with anything other than like sinister. <laughs> like a douchey. I can't. I just don't know why. I just can't really. <laughs> I guess I can't laugh when I'm reading. I'm not that good. Anyway. Unic I can laugh at myself, but I can't laugh read. You know what I mean? Ugh. Unicorn has stared at me with his eyes, uh, with just his eyes, and looked like he was enjoying himself. It, is this... This is really just supposed to be a massage, right? Miss Paisy, please put your feet over here. In the end, Unicorn lifted my feet out of the foot bath, and he carefully gently rubbed them with a soft towel. Phew. It felt really good, but I was so nervous I couldn't relax at all. And by the way, Miss Spacey, when did he finish drying my feet? Unicorn had opened his mouth as if he just remembered something. W what is it? Are you acquainted with Kamasaki? Huh? Why are you asking me that? No, it's just... It looked as if Kamasaki had been worried about you. I mean, we're with you, so I'm... Uh, I just, I, did you just see what happened? He has a right to be worried. It, he's probably smart to be worried. I'm just saying. N no! I mean, Kamasaki is a very famous person, and there's no way I'd be acquainted with him, right? If I say something weird, it might cause trouble for him. I did the right thing, right? Is that so? Unicora squinted his eyes a little. I'm all over with the voice, because I'm just trying to make it kind of normal. You can feel like he's kind of normal. Should be normal. Anyway. A unicorn squinted his eyes a little. He watched me steadily as if he was investigating me. My apologies. It must have been my misunderstanding. I'm sorry for carelessly prying like that. N no, it's okay. Uh, don't worry about it. And by the way, Miss Spacey. How about the next three months? Y yes? After the three months are over... You'll be attending a Christmas party hosted by your aunt. A Christmas party? Yes, she's inviting a large number of guests and holding a grand party. Um. So this is like September or October, right? Well, probably October if three months Christmas. Uh, but so who the fuck finishes school in October? Some. I'm. Legitimately, I don't know anything about Japanese schools, but I'm just saying. Um, weird. <laughs> She's like, oh, the semester's over. It's usually fall. You know, it's, it's like summer. Like June, July, and August, not October, November, and December. Weird. Anyway. Uh, oh, no, that's true. We don't have anything to do. We don't have any classes. We just have to write a thesis. So maybe we're everyone else is in class, and we're just getting our ankles licked by our fucking actor butler I mean the shit that happens in Atomic Games guys anyway yes she's inviting a large number of guests and holding a grand party and my final test will be to act as your escort during the party Unicorn is going to be my escort in these next three months I'll be uh, teaching you etiquette and how to behave like a lady your aunt has ordered me to steadily support you I don't think you if you need to be here because you don't know how to treat women, I don't think you should be teaching me how to woman. Am I the... Mm, okay. All right. I just... Mm -hmm. I, I see. 
You're teaching me etiquette, but you don't know how to not douchebag? Oh, we are so fucked. Anyway. In other words, Yonakura is going to make me into a proper lady for that Christmas party. Again, this just sounds like a reverse... This doesn't sound like a reverse harem. This sounds like I'm like, I'm going to teach you how to be a proper lady. That doesn't sound like I'm the har one with the man harem. That kind of sounds like you're going to... And I'm your property and... Wait. Wait. How dare you bamboozle me, game? That's the job Auntie Aiko had assigned to him. I thought I could just live here worry-free for the next three months, but... I guess there's just no thing as a job where you can just eat and sleep all day. I mean, you thought it was eat and sleep, and then she was like, Here, pick one of these hot dudes. I'm like, okay. Oh, by the way, he's a douchebag. Oh, and he's gonna teach you. The fuck? I'm a little worried. <laughs> I can't believe I have to act like a lady in front of a large amount of guests. No, I'm a little worried about this douchebag teaching me how to lady. Not... Well, will, will I be alright? I'm a little worried. Is something wrong, Miss Spacey? Oh, n no, it's just... I was wondering if I could really pull off acting like a proper lady. No. I'm more... No, that's not... Game, that's not what I meant, but... I'm starting to get a little worried. Oh, dear God. This was the wrong choice, wasn't it? You'll be fine, and I'll be by your side the entire time. I'll make sure you don't embarrass yourself, no matter what. And please relax and leave it to me. Okay, see, they say things like this, and you're like, he's like, don't worry, I'll take it. And you're like, I want to believe you, but I have a feeling the game is going to rip the r that rug, that rug that's behind you. You're just going to yank that shit out from underneath me, and I'm going to smash my head on the fucking mantle. And then I'm going to be concussed. Oh, the unicorn really is always full of confidence. But it's so strange. When I look at his face brimming with confidence, I get the feeling that it really will work out. Uh, okay, I understand. I believe you. I'm in your hands, Yonakura. Oh god, no, you should never... No, 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 no. Wrong thing to... No, no, no. <laughs> can't do it. I can't laugh. Well, anyway. What? Why are you laughing? This is my test, but you have to accompany me. And nevertheless, you just thanked me for it. Uh, oh, okay. I guess you're right. He pointed out that fact sharply, and I couldn't help but blush. <laughs> you really are cute, after all. Huh? I'm looking forward to making you into a proper woman. Um, no, I don't trust you that sound that okay look again if this was like a normal butler thing like i'm looking forward to turning into a proper lady you're like oh he's a gentleman this is like oh god you're gonna rape me aren't you this is no there is gonna be lots of abuse oh god unicora but unicora he's so kind and reliable he feels even more like a perfect butler and yet part of him doesn't know how to treat a woman right I watched Yonakura in a daze as he quickly cleaned up the footbath. Miss Spacey, Yonakura suddenly turned around to look at me. What is it? Your bath is ready. Would you like to bathe yourself before supper? The, the, the bath? That might be a good idea. I have been sweating from all the excitement since coming here. Sh sure. Then I'll do as you suggested and take a bath. I see. Well, then. Unicorn grinned and came right up to me. And come right up to me. Came. Not come. What? <laughs> I read it right, but... When I thought he'd put his hand out for me, his long fingers started to unbutton my blouse. What? H hold on, Yonakura. What is it, miss? D don't give me that! I'm just doing my duty as your butler, and I'm helping you get ready for your bath. Unicorn told me if it told me his opinion as if it was the natural thing to do. I mean, again, depending on what kind... Like, if we weren't models, actors, douchebags uh, doing this, like, and it was a real butler, you'd be like, okay, whatever, he's my butler, he's being a professional. And then you're like, oh my... God, just kiss already! <laughs> uh, I'll be fine. I can take my own clothes off. Are you sure? Y yeah, so you can leave. 
I understand. Then I shall do my own preparations. Huh? He put his hands on one of his buttons. Unicora started to undress without hesitation. Damn! What? What? Unicora? Why are you... Just ripped that rug out from underneath us, but not the way I thought. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> what? Uh, oh my god, my eyes are watering. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck even is this game? Oh god, this was the right route to choose first because this is hilarious. Oh my god, this is so wrong. Anyway. Hmm, hey, you're asking me why? Like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Demonetized. I'm going to assist you as you bathe, Miss Spacey. Uh, assist me bathing? Y you don't mean you're gonna get in the bath with me? Miss Spacey. I looked at you in a corner in amazement and he started to look stern. No! <laughs> Although, if there's an option, I'm totally going to choose yes, because I just want to see what happens. A butler is someone who's always by your side and takes care of everything around you. And whether it be in the bathroom or your bedroom, it's my duty as your butler to always be by your side and serve you. I can You can draw my bath. I can fucking get in the bath and wash myself. But I, don't, I think you're taking this a little too far. This can't be happening. Well, it is. <laughs> Game says, well, we're all thinking, this cannot be happening. Well, it is. Can't argue with that. Miss Basie, if you don't hurry up, you're going to catch a cold. Unicorn wrapped a towel around his waist as he spoke and quickly headed to the bathroom. What? It, is he really supposed to do that? I mean, I get it because this girl's like, I have never had butlers, so I don't know. But I'm just going to, as a person who's never had butlers... I don't know, but I'm just thinking they draw your bath. I'd never... They get in the bath with you. You're trying to bamboozle me, motherfucker. And she's dumb enough to fall for it. Because she got into a van with two strange dudes in suits and didn't even get candy. They might not have had a van, but they didn't give her candy. That's the point. Anyway. It, is that what butlers do? No. Rose petals were floating on the water in the bathtub. The scent of the fragrant roses filled the room. But the thing that's more noticeable than the smell of roses is the naked dude. <laughs> you don't need to be so nervous. Please relax your muscles and let the tension out of your body. It, even if you tell me to do that, entering the bathtub with Yonokura would be more nerve-wracking than anything else. I feel like I might faint. Yeah, also, you just met this man, and you're going to get naked with... Girl, she's so dumb. Shall I wash your back, Miss Spacey? Uh, I'm okay. You don't have to... More importantly, isn't it a little bright? Is it? I didn't think so. C could you at least make it a little darker? All right. Iona could have turned off the lights and lit a candle. Oh, God! Now it's romantic! Oh, God! What even is this game? Oh, God! How's that? It's pretty, but it looks like my face has gotten even hotter. Now my ears are probably red, too. I've never even bathed with my ex-boyfriend. Please don't be shy, Miss Spacey. I'm here doing this for you. Unicorn stretched his hand out. His fingers slid down my back. Ah! Oh, God! Okay, this game is going to make me cringe the whole time because I have to read inappropriate scenes and I don't want to read, guys. You know me. I don't want to do it. Oh, God. So awkward. Anyway. Is there any place you'd like me to wash for you? He whispered those words into my ear in a low voice. It looks like you don't have an answer. I'll wash the parts I think need to be cleaned, okay? Whoa, no. Boy, no. W what? He's going to wash my body? I mean, this could be totally sexy if you were into the dude, but you just met him, and this is not how butlers do shit. <laughs> Oh my god. 
He lathered up some body soap in his hands and started to stroke my back. So then I'm guessing she got naked, is what you're telling me. She actually walked in there butt naked. I'm like... Because I... Like, walking into the bathroom... Again... You should have been like, um, no. Uh, please put your clothes back on. I'll wash my fucking self. Just draw my bath and get the shit ready and then leave. What the fuck? Oh my god. She's just naked in the bathtub with this dude. Oh god, this is inviting all sorts of shit. We cannot... Oh god. His hand went from my back to my sides and down to my waist, girl. No. Oh dear god, this is... Oh, God. <sighs> okay. We went into office lovers and we're like, where the fuck is the having sex with me? Oh, now we're doing it. And like, there was a lot of like sex on the desks and shit like that. And you're like, the fuck? But not in the first hour of the game. Holy shit. What the fuck? This is how he lures her in, right? Oh, no, he's so gentle and kind. And then he's going to start being a, like a douchebag. Oh, and she's going to take it because of one romantic night in a bathtub. Oh, dear God. Which, by the way, is cringy because you're like, oh, you just met this dude. And you were like, all right, I'll just take off my clothes and go in the bath. No! Oh, girl. Too stupid to function. Oh, shit. Anyway. His hand slowly glided down my body smoothly. Uh, no, it tickles. <laughs> and you look like your body just jumped. It looks like you wanted me to watch this part of your party. Huh? <laughs> it looks like you wanted me to watch this part of your party, huh? Okay, if we weren't already, like, pulled out of the game just by how awkward this is, and you were totally into it reading it, like, oh, yeah, you just wanted me to watch this part of your party. Wait, what? <laughs> that just yanks out your immersion if you were deeply immersed. But anyway, part of your body, huh? Th that's not true. <laughs> You really are cute, Miss Spacey. It seems a waste if I'm just going to wash your body. Huh? Oh, Unicorn's hand combed my back and slowly slid toward the front of my body. He's already seen you naked. I mean, I'm not saying that gives him a right to touch you, but... I mean, you were literally in the bathtub naked with a dude. I just... You can't... Oh, I'm so awkward and shy. You shouldn't have gotten to this point. All I'm saying... How you got here, I just, I don't know, because it went from him trying to undress you to him being naked to now all of a sudden you're naked in the bath together, and I don't know when she took off her, unless she's in the bathtub in her clothes. His hand caressed my thighs and slid down the inside of my legs. Oh dear God, no, don't make me read this. Without thinking, I reflexively squeezed my knees closed. <laughs> he tickled my ear with his teasing, sweet voice, and my body temperature quickly rose. I cannot believe we're here at the... God, why do I do this to myself? You knew what was going to happen. You knew this moment of, why do I do this? Was going to happen. But I don't think anybody knew it was going to happen in the first part. I I can't take any more of this. I can't either. Y Unicora, I, I want to get out now. Oh, your face is red. Are you feeling dizzy? I wanted to clean every nook and cranny of your body, but... If I let you do that, I think I'd go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, because it just, it sounds so douchey, his laugh in my brain. Anyway, I was bright red and shook my head. A unicorn gazed at me, entertained. And the thing is, it's not like she's innocent. She's had an ex-boyfriend, so she's probably, like, she's, but, again, even if you're like, well, I'm not, like, chaste and innocent, like, had boyfriends, had sex, been in intimate relationships and whatever, um... She's still too a little naive. She's still too naive to be naked in a bathtub with a strange dude she just met. I okay. Okay. I is this what I get because I said like, oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna please me. <laughs> you're gonna satisfy me. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. I guess I have no choice. Oh, please let yourself out of the bath. It, even if you tell me to get out, um. Could you get me a bath towel? A bath towel? You don't need one, do you? Huh? D does that mean he wants me to stand up naked like this? You are 
already he's already seen everything. I mean, she's like he wants me to stand him. He's already seen everything. Ah, okay, okay. I I seriously question her sanity right now, but okay. <laughs> I guess I must comply. This is the just the first day after all. I'm sure he'll get used to my treatment in the meantime. Splash. Uh. Unicorn stood up without hesitating, and I automatically cast my eyes downward. Not downward. At, oh. I knew he's wearing a towel, but he's wearing a towel. He got in the bath to clean you in a towel, but you're butt fucking naked. Oh, good lord. That's even worse. Uh, even if I don't like it, his naked body is in plain sight. I couldn't lift my head up and heard wet footsteps coming closer to me. Here's your bathrobe, Miss Spacey. Th thanks. I took the white bathrobe that he handed me without looking up. Phew. I'd finally gotten out of the bathtub and had finished dressing, but... My throat is kind of... dry. Miss Spacey, which do you prefer to drink? Iced tea or fruit juice? Oh, um... Then I'll have fruit juice. As you wish. Unicorn grinned happily and quickly started to prepare my drink. When he acts like this, he's very considerate and is like a real butler. But if the next three months continue on like this, my body won't hold out. You didn't even hold out for the first day, whore! What the fuck? I mean, look, if you meet a guy and you're like, hey, hi, how you doing? Let's go home and fuck. That's fine. But she is like, oh my god, oh, it's so awkward. You were the one who got in the bathtub naked with him is all I'm saying. This is no one's fault but your own right now. You're feeling awkward and uh, is your own doing. I mean, part of it, the uh, was because he literally got naked in front of you and you're like, the fuck, you couldn't control that. But like, you could have been like, oh, please put your clothes on, I'll bathe myself, Jesus fucking Christ. And I'm like, okay, I'll just in the bath with you naked because you said so. Oh, uh, too stupid to live. Anyway. Um, Unicora. Yes? What is it, Miss Spacey? You're not allowed to bathe with me. Uh, about the bath just now. Could you not come into the bathtub when I'm using it? Excuse me? Miss Spacey. As I predicted, Unicorn's expression gradually became grim. How unfortunate. You didn't like my service? It's not about whether I liked it or not. No, because it was inappropriate. I, I have to tell him properly. Um, Unicora. Yes? I know you're just doing your job, but I don't think that's a butler's job. Could you stop doing things like that from now on? What do you mean, things like that? Uh, I mean, being a little rapey. The excess physical contact, or carrying me, kissing my feet, and entering the bathtub with me. In any case, I want you to treat me a little more normally. Oh god, that might have been the wrong thing to say. Miss Spacey, normally. Get your own drink, you slag! I mean, I'm just waiting for this. Is that an order? Huh? Uh, yes. I'm ordering you, my servant, as your master. See, this is where we could have had fun with this. Oh, wait. You have to do what I say, because I'm your master? <laughs> that could be fun. But no, you're the doormat and he's the one doing it. You're like, please don't. And he's like, no, I'm gonna. No. You'd be like, I'm gonna to no. You're gonna do what I say, motherfucker. That's the game we need. Not the men treating us like shit. You need the strong woman who's like, what are you gonna make him do? Grovel at my fucking feet. <laughs> Get on your knees, bitch. Like, I mean, you could have had so much fun with this. But no, apparently we all just want to be demeaned and treated like douche, like by asshole. Like, I just... <sighs> It's a sad world we live in, but... This is fun, though. She's a dumb fuck. But this was a good-ass fucking laugh in the first part. Like, holy shit, I can't even. Uh, Unicorn stopped moving and stared into my eyes. And then... Hmm. Unicorn... Uh, Unicorn... Unicorn... My god, I can't read. Snorted, and his face changed from its usual demeanor. Huh? Unicorn... In other words, that means... 
You had a problem with the way I'm doing things, right? Y Yonakura? He spoke in a somewhat lazy and casual tone. W what is this? He's acting completely different. Yeah, because he's a douchebag in disguise. To douchebags in disguise! He's a transformer. Huh. Enough of this. I thought I'd play it cool the first day, but I'm over it. <laughs> you look like you're in disbelief. Unicorn shrugged his shoulders over dramatically as he chuckled. He is the actor. No, yeah, he is, so... Well, I technically am an actor. Right. Should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming, but whatever. And I acted like a perfect butler, didn't I? Huh? Th then, all of this up until now was all just an act and a bad one, because butlers don't lick your fucking ankles. Okay, I mean, he just kissed her ankle, but still, same difference. And don't get naked with you in the bathtub! From now on, I'm going to do things the way I want to. You're okay with that, right? No. Uh. As he laughed arrogantly, Yonakura suddenly grabbed my waist. Right, Miss Spacey. This is the real Yonakura. <laughs> Perfect place to end it. All right, so. All right, I, we're going to save here. Likeability 9%. I don't know where we're supposed to be with this. Um... But anyway, so I will see you guys next time. Oh, oh, we're already in chapter two. Okay, well, whatever. We'll pick it up here um, in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.